everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going over how I put together some of the parts for my headpiece for my book look on Five Dark Fates, the final book to the Three Dark Crown series by Kendara Blake. If you'd like to see the full video on how I put this book look all together, check out the Epic Reads video linked down below. If you've been following me for some time, you'll know I absolutely love the Three Dark Crown series and have done book looks for the Three Queens and the first three books of the series in the past on my Instagram. For this final book, I was hugely inspired not only by the book cover design, but also my past looks and the magical gifts of Fenburn, the fantasy world that the Three Dark Crown series takes place in. So if you'd like to see how I put this headpiece all together, then please keep on watching. First thing I'm starting with is some scratch paper and the frame for a back halo I made for a past book look. If you've seen my other videos, this halo piece was the same one I used in my Daughters of Fire and Sea by Holly Carlson book look, which I made out of a wire wreath base that I connected to a headband with craft wire and hot glue. I first wanted a general outline so I know where to place my stencil designs on the halo frame which I based heavily off of the gold shield and gold filigree border on the Five Dark Fates book cover. Once I have the halo shape traced out, I'm folding my scratch paper in half and rough sketching where I want the halo points and filigree designs to be. I am in no way, shape, or form a drawing artist, so I'm just copying the book cover design to the best of my ability. After I'm tracing over everything I sketched with the sharpie marker just so I can clearly see everything and so it'll make it easier for me to trace the same image evenly on the other folded side. Next time, just cutting out the stencil pieces that look the best, and I'm labeling the back and front of them according to which side of the halo I plan to trace them onto. After, I'm just playing around and marking where and how I'm going to get these pieces to stick to the back halo. Moving on, I'm using barbecue sticks and painter's tape to shape out the gold five points of the halo. For these, I'm just fiddling around until I get a general ray point shape and using the painter's tape to hold the shape together. I'm also taping the sticks about halfway down so the tape won't be visible from behind the halo. If you've read the Three Dark Crown series, you'll know that there are five magical gifts on Fenburn. My goal for the book look is to try and incorporate all five gifts into the look along with other aspects of the story. The title is also called Five Dark Fates. There are also five books total in the series, including the prequel novella, so I thought it would be fitting to give the halo five points as well. Once all the points are taped, I'm just mapping out how I want to attach them onto the halo, and since there are five points, I decided to go for a star-like shape, especially since, if you've read the book, small stars play a role in the story. To secure my points, I'm using floral wire all around the center of the star shape, and I'm also tying some around any of the overlapping point parts. I'm also securing everything with a little bit of hot glue on any parts where the star points touch the halo just in case. I'm a complete klutz off camera so I can never be too secure with props, especially if they aren't glued, pinned, or otherwise attached to me somehow. There were many a times I would get caught in a door frame with this headpiece, or bump into a wall, or anything that's in front of me, so I definitely had to glue everything down. Moving on, I'm taking some black construction paper and I'm going to be spray painting the entire thing gold. If you look closely at the gold shield and filigree of the book cover of Five Dark Fates, you'll see that the gold isn't a bright, shiny, pure gold. It looks a little bit more textured and dark with speckles of black, so I'm going to try and recreate that texture here so my stenciled pieces look closer to the cover. While that paper dries, I'm spray painting my star points with gold as well. I'm primarily focusing my paint on the points and not so much on the halo since most of it will be blocked by the stencil filigree anyways. I also wanted to pay homage to the Poisoner gift on Fenburn and the Poisoner snakes on the cover of the book, so I'm also coating these toy snakes I got from the dollar store in gold before attaching them to the halo as well. While the snakes in the halo dries, I'm taking the time to trace out my stencil filigree pieces on the gold sheet of paper that we just made with a black colored pencil and then just refining any details that I wasn't able to catch from tracing. With a dark brown colored pencil, I'm starting to detail and shade the filigree shapes by copying the designs from the book cover as best as I can. To really darken up the color and shading, I'm using a little bit of black watercolor on top of where I just shaded. Just cause it's me, sparkly, glitter loving Bertina, and I like to make everything I do shiny and sparkly, I'm also using glitter glue to go over highlight points on the filigree just to give the piece some extra pop and dimension so the pieces also don't look so flat sitting on the halo. Once I've laid down the glue, I'm generously sprinkling on some gold craft glitter, and I'm shaking and spreading the glitter around just to make sure everything is coated and no glitter goes to waste. After the glitter glue is dry, I'm cutting out each of the pieces again with an X-Acto knife and roughly placing them around on the now dry halo. After playing around with the placement of the snakes, I realized that they kind of got lost among all the gold of the halo, so I recoated them with some black spray paint and cut them in half to make it easier to attach and place them onto the halo. Also, while they dried, I went ahead and made my dangle tassel pins, which I made out of leftover wooden takeout chopsticks and accessory tassels I got from my local craft store. Once my snakes are dry, I'm just hot gluing them and the paper filigree down onto the halo. When everything is all dry, it is ready to wear! Yay! <laughs> 
I hope you all found this video helpful, and if you plan on making your own Five Dark Fates inspired Halo crown, please let me know. I'd love to see what you create. I wanted to give an enormous thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look. If you'd like to see how I put the book look for Five Dark Fates by Kendara Blake together, definitely check out Epic Reads channel linked in the description box down below, and be sure to check out the Three Dark Crown series and its amazing final book, Five Dark Fates, which comes out in paperback April 6th of this year! Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!